So, you know, now you're playing Call of Duty. You have your son playing Call of Duty. And then around 2017, right, is when you got into content creation. Yeah. So discuss what are some of the things that pushed you into that direction? Well, well, I mean, there's a lot of different factors. Uh, I know that, like, I think a lot of con- a lot of people know about my backstory a little bit. Yeah. But the, the, the reality is, is, like, I was working in sales. I, was, I had a full-time job. I was uh, married. My son was only, like, almost two. And uh, basically, we were just living normal life. And then... My, my wife ended up getting killed at work. It was part of a, like a huge, it was national news. It was, yeah. it was considered a terrorist attack. The the people involved were like part of uh, ISIS or some crazy. Oh, I didn't know that that was, yeah. it was an ISIS thing. Okay. Well, yeah, it was, it was kind of a, like a, the backstory on that is uh, literally there were coworkers. Right. Like they worked there. Okay. And they had a baby shower for them and like, it was crazy. And then basically it went to work function. Uh, they, they had a break. He left, went, picked up his wife, picked up his baby, dropped him off at the mother-in-law or whatever, and then came to work and shot up the place. Yeah. And it was kind of a like craziness because obviously it feels surreal in the moment and, yeah. and all those things. So I took about a month off after that happened and like I went back to work. And then I worked for like four months. And because of how everything happened, it was, it was, there was life insurance, there was financial comforts that came after that part. And I didn't have to work. Like essentially I made enough to pay my bills and I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll just enjoy my son. He's only two. Let, let's enjoy. So I take time off, potty trained. We're going to the store every so often. You know, he gets to pick out his toys. We're going to Disneyland, which is being like in the moment, enjoying it. And then probably about a year goes by and then I'm like kind of getting bored. I'm a, I like to work. Right. So like I don't consider work work, but you know what I mean? Like you're, you're actively engaging yourself in thought and, and working through a process. So uh, probably about a year goes by and I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I'm going to start going to school again. I'm going to finish my degree. So I do that. And then I go, you know what? I got some time. Let me, let me try and get good at call of duty. So I start watching some videos and I'd never really watched YouTube before that. Right before this though, before I found out YouTube, I was playing a game called the division. Love that game. And it was Absolutely super hype game. right at the beginning. Yeah. It was probably one of the most hyped games in a while. And I started watching this YouTuber by the name of skill up. Okay. And if you guys aren't familiar, he kind of does what exclusive ace did. Okay. Or does. Right, right. But he did that for The Division. Right. And now he does like a variety game uh, reviews and he's still very articulate, smart, great reviews, by the way, uh, on all kinds of gaming from Australia or whatever. So I, as soon as I got back into COD, Division died and I was like, ah, you know what? Let me get back into COD. Let me improve. First video I watch is like how to get a nuke by Exclusive Ace. He okay. actually put out a video. And then with YouTube, you know, you go kind of down the recommended rabbit hole and then I improved. I went from like a 1.7 in the game to I was able to move my KD like at the end of the life cycle right. from a 1.7 up to like a 2.5. Really good. But the weekly was always like a 3.7, 3.8. Like, so I was improving week over week. And that's where I found all kinds of content creators, whether it's uh team memory, yeah. Noir missile, lead shot, my boy. K3, you know, my all boy. these, all these yeah. dudes, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then I go, you know what? I have a vision kind of like what I want to do for content and I want to help people improve. And I think I can do it. Because it worked. Like, I'm, I'm a living example that it worked because I did that from there to there. I went almost over doubled. Right. So, in around June, July of 2017, I go, you know what? Let me let me start a YouTube channel. I can do this. It shouldn't be that hard. Right? Like, I know what I'm doing. Right? And I was going to do it just as a hobby. And I was like, oh, I'll just do it for fun. And then um, I was still going to school. And then I was posting like two times a week or something crazy. Something low. And then eventually it got around to... November, I posted some Destiny videos and just kind of get my feet wet because I knew the new Call of Duty was going to drop, World War II. So I said, you know what, let me go full and enjoy it. And then probably after December, I already got a payout of like a hundred bucks because you know the minimum. Right, yeah, it's a hundred bucks, yeah. Then YouTube changed their monetization. But then I did the math and I was like, okay, if I get this amount of views, I don't have to go into teaching and I can make my own schedule. Because teaching, you, you know... Entry level, you probably make 45,000, 60,000, right. right? You know, on the top end, if you got masters and then through seniority, maybe you make 90K or something. Right. Unless you go to administration, you're not going to make six figures. Right. And in right. my head, I always want to make six figures. Mm-hmm. I get into it and then I start interacting with other content creators. And I was like, okay, the numbers on that just, I'm a numbers guy. So I was like, oh, all I need is that many views. I just need to post that many videos then. Right. So then I started posting a video a day. Wow. You know, and, and that's really all that switched because.